Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the growing family. We're almost at 6.2k and it would mean that I'd be able to reach that goal by the end of this month. Today I'm going to be talking about my diagnosis story of being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know, hi I'm Lydia, I'm 25 years old, I'm diagnosed with bipolar type 1 and I hope in sharing my journey it can help those of you who have symptoms of bipolar disorder go forward to get a diagnosis or seek professional help. So I was 13 when I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder but I wanted to follow what led up to the diagnosis. I was manic and psychotic and the mania led me to do certain things that aren't normal. I wasn't sleeping and if I did sleep it was for two three hours a night. I wasn't eating. I was taking on so many projects I couldn't keep up with them. It was a really scary time in my life. I was I felt on top of the world but I also had a sense of fear of crashing and I did ultimately end up crashing but I was in hospital. So the mania really took hold of my life and I was psychotic at the same time. I, mean, I had delusions, I had hallucinations and in experiencing that it just led me to a point where I made an attempt on my life because I was so unhappy but I was happy, I was really elated but I was also struggling a lot with self-harm, impulse control and stuff like that. It wasn't just uh, from, main, from my episode, it was mania but it was also a sense of depression at the same time. So I got, I ended up getting sectioned under the mental health act after my mom took me to A&E because something wasn't right but she was right in thinking because obviously there was something wrong. When I was in hospital I had one conversation with a psychiatrist because I was talking really fast, I was taking on projects, I was I was working all the time, I was busy, I was making sure I had something to do and it just didn't stop. There was no end to it. Even being in hospital I was still taking on projects and doing things and, and just generally being impulsive. It was so such a dangerous situation because I had delusions that people were watching what I was doing and that these people had spy uh, was spying on me and they was after me and that they was going to hurt me. Looking in on it now I can tell it was a delusion but when you're experiencing it it's really hard to take a step away, take a step back and just really realise that, realise that it's a delusion. Like I said, I had one conversation with a psychiatrist and diagnosed me by hero type 1 and I started on lithium. I was put on to a thousand milligrams a day straight off. It wasn't built up, so it wasn't a very good psychiatrist. I believe he's actually lost his license now. I might be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. When I was talking to the psychiatrist, I was, I thought I was talking really fast. I was cycling through everything like every everything popped in my brain I was saying and it was just a roller coaster like it was just everywhere so that's how I was diagnosed I was experiencing symptoms on a pretty intense level and I was diagnosed by hola type 1 so that's my diagnosis story if you have any questions about my hola ask in the comments down below I'm always happy to answer thanks for watching this video and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button like I said at the beginning if you have any video requests, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.